Do you ever get the sense that certain people in your life are there just to complicate things? It's vital to recognize when someone is trying to pull you down. Stay alert, and the signs will become clear. Manipulation and gaslighting are common strategies used by those driven by negative intentions. These methods aim to control and mislead people. Gaslighting is a specific type of manipulation where the manipulator alters reality to make their victim question their own thoughts and feelings. This not only erodes self-confidence but also sows seeds of doubt, particularly troubling when you're trying to grow spiritually. As you become more aware of these tactics, you'll start to see their effects, not just on yourself but also on those around you. By understanding the impact of these negative behaviors, you can protect not only your mental well-being, but also your spiritual path, surround yourself with supportive individuals who uplift and encourage you. These positive connections can help counteract the disorientation caused by manipulators, allowing you to maintain a clear and focused path towards personal growth. Guarding from manipulation, gaslighting tactics such as denial, trivializing, and shifting. Blame are often used to make individuals doubt their own perceptions and emotions. Perpetrators manipulate scenarios to instill guilt or uncertainty, continuously weakening their victim's self-confidence and increasing their dependence. This form of psychological manipulation can be especially destructive to those engaged in spiritual development. It creates barriers to personal growth and self-awareness by planting seeds of doubt, which may prevent them from trusting their own feelings or discerning the truth consecrates. O. L. This often leads to confusion and hampers progress in their spiritual practices. Speaking of progress, you can help us progress far in our journey by liking this video and hitting the subscribe button. Thanks. It is essential to recognize and comprehend manipulative behaviors such as gaslighting to protect oneself on a spiritual journey. Trusting one's instincts is key to avoiding these pitfalls and keeping a clear mind build relationships with supportive and sincere people is equally important as they promote rather than disrupt personal and spiritual growth. The presence of a superiority complex in an individual might suggest they are under negative influences. Such individuals typically display an inflated self-image believing themselves to be above others and deserving of incessant adulation and special treatment. This overblown ego can hinder the formation of genuine relationships as they may view others as unworthy or lesser, which often results in a lack of empathy and difficulty in establishing deep, meaningful connections. Moreover, a high degree of self-importance can significantly interfere with one's spiritual alignment, creating a barrier between them and meaningful spiritual lessons. When people view themselves as superior to the spiritual process, they shut themselves off from valuable experiences and collective wisdom necessary for personal and spiritual growth. Recognizing these traits in others is crucial to avoid toxic relationships and stay focused on one's own spiritual development by being aware of. These signs one can ensure they are in an environment that nurtures growth and keeps their spiritual path clear of distractions and manipulation, identifying subtle manipulative behaviors. Learning to spot subtle manipulative behaviors is crucial for maintaining both your emotional and spiritual health manipulators often use sly tactics that may not be overtly abusive but can deeply affect your mental. State, for example, they might give backhanded compliments or use passive-aggressive comments to subtly degrade your self-esteem. This undermining is typically gradual, making it difficult to pinpoint and confront awareness, and understanding of these behaviors can help you recognize them early and take proactive steps to address the situation. By educating yourself about these tactics, you can better safeguard your well-being and maintain your spiritual clarity. Manipulators often pinpoint and exploit the vulnerabilities of their targets. This exploitation may include preying on past traumas, insecurities, or fears. Understanding one's own vulnerabilities can help in setting up defenses against such tactics. Recognizing when someone is exploiting your weaknesses allows you to confront or distance yourself. From the manipulator, 
thereby preventing further emotional harm, self-reflection and possibly seeking professional help can aid in healing and strengthening these vulnerable areas, making it harder for manipulators to take advantage of them. Listening to your intuition is a powerful tool against manipulation. Often your gut feeling will alert you when something isn't right in your interactions with. Others, however, manipulators might try to convince you to ignore these instincts, labeling them as overreactions or paranoia. Trusting your own feelings and perceptions can act as a first line of defense helping you to avoid manipulative relationships. Developing and trusting your intuition requires mindfulness and can be enhanced through practices like meditation, which strengthens your inner clarity. Communicating boundaries. Clearly setting and maintaining strong emotional boundaries is essential in all types of relationships. Boundaries help. Define what you are comfortable with and how you expect to be treated by others. Without clear boundaries, it is easy to become overwhelmed and emotionally drained by the demands of others in the context of spiritual and emotional growth. Boundaries enable you to refuse unhealthy demands and interactions, preserving your energy for positive engagements. They also assist in managing how you interact with others, ensuring that your relationships are mutually respectful and supportive, which is vital for personal and spiritual development. It's not enough to have boundaries. You must also communicate them clearly to others. This communication should be assertive and direct leaving no room for misunderstandings. For instance, if someone's behavior makes you uncomfortable, Able telling them clearly and respectfully can prevent future incidents. Effective communication of your boundaries not only protects you, but also educates those around you about your needs and expectations, fostering healthier interactions. When boundaries are violated, it is important to address the situation promptly and assertively. This might involve restating your boundaries more clearly, or in severe cases distancing yourself from the person who continually disrespects your limits. Handling boundary violations effectively reinforces your self-respect and deters further infringements. It also serves as an important lesson in self-advocacy teaching you to stand up for your rights while maintaining your emotional and spiritual tranquility. Navigating Emotional and Spiritual Growth Spending time with kind down toe. People who value empathy and relationships can greatly enhance your spiritual growth. These individuals typically avoid exploiting others to fulfill their emotional needs, a behavior commonly seen in less empathetic people. Unfortunately, some individuals are the exact opposite. They are indifferent to others' feelings and manipulate these emotions for personal gain to avoid people manipulating you. Subscribe to our content and be aware of others. Manipulation. Thanks, such manipule can deeply drain the people around them, leaving their friends and family tearid and worn out referred to as emotional vampires. These individuals feed on the emotional energy of others, too. Enrich their own feelings. They often prey on those who are more empathetic, drawing out their energy until they feel completely depleted. It's vital to spot these harmful behaviors early and set firm boundaries to safeguard your well-being. Surrounding yourself with, with caring and understanding people can diminish the effects of these energy drainers and create a nurturing environment that fosters personal development. Adopting this approach helps break the cycle of negativity, often perpetuated by those swayed by darker influences such negative individuals often spread doom and gloom aiming to shake the confidence and self-worth of those around them. Their criticism meant to instill doubt and insecurity can be quite severe. Fee, it's crucial to recognize these destructive patterns to protect your emotional and spiritual health. Constant negativity can drain your energy and obstruct your path to spiritual enlightenment to cultivate a more enriching spiritual life. It's important to establish strong boundaries and reduce your contact with these harmful influences. Instead, build connections that are positive and encouraging, fostering mutual growth. Grow in reinforcement by opting to be around. People who uplift rather than undermine you create a supportive environment that enhances both personal and spiritual development. 
This encouraging atmosphere not only aids in your own growth, but also helps build a more caring and empathetic community in this journey. It's also essential to recognize the role of self-care and emotional intelligence by understanding and managing our own emotions. We can better handle interactions with those who may be emotionally draining. Developing a strong sense of self-awareness allows us to identify when we are giving too much and receiving too little in return. This self-awareness is a crucial tool for maintaining emotional balance and fostering deeper connections with others who share our values of empathy and support. Moreover, cultivating a community that values, emotional generosity and reciprocal support can amplify the positive impacts on our spiritual well-being. Engaging in community activities, sharing experiences, and openly communicating emotions can reinforce the bonds that protect us from the negative influences of emotional vampires through these collective experiences. We strengthen our communal resilience against negativity and enhance the supportive network that fosters each member's personal and spiritual growth. It's beneficial to regularly reflect on the quality of our relationships and make intentional choices about those we allow into our inner circle. This ongoing evaluation helps us to continuously nurture relationships that are truly reciprocal and supportive and phase out or reform those that consistently drain our emotional resources by actively choosing our companions based on shared values and mutual respect we craft a personal environment that not only supports our spiritual journey, but also enriches our daily lives. Safeguarding spiritual clarity, staying away from constant negativity is essential for keeping your spirits high and your path to spiritual growth. Clear when you spend time around negative people, it can drain your spirit and mental energy. These individuals often dwell on life's downsides, continuously criticizing and spreading. Gloom being around them can feel like walking through a thick fog, each meeting leaving you more depleted than before. They seem to suck all the positive energy out of the air around them. Interacting with such people might cause you to absorb their negative emotions and harmful outlooks, which can stall your personal growth and trap you in a cycle of inertia. It's crucial to understand how these interactions impact you and to take action to protect your spirit. Spiritual health establishing firm boundaries and limiting your time with those who drain your energy is key. Instead, surround yourself with positive people who boost your morale and encourage your personal development helping to refill your spiritual energy and propel you toward enlightenment. By concentrating on your mental and spiritual well-being, you protect yourself from the negative influences trying to pull you down down. You have the freedom to choose whom you interact with, ensuring you surround yourself with people who have a positive impact on your spiritual life. A definite sign that someone might be negatively influencing you is if they actively encourage behaviors that clash with your values. These individuals aren't looking to support or guide you. Rather, they aim to lead you astray, often tempting you with a thrill of risky or forbidden activities that contradict your moral principles. These people might resort to dishonesty, manipulation, or indulging in harmful desires like greed, lust, or jealousy. To draw you into spiritual downfall, their influence is often subtle slowly chipping away at your moral clarity until you begin to justify actions you once condemned. Succumbing to their manipulation can make you drift from your values and veer off your spiritual course to fight back against these negative influences, reaffirm your commitment to your principles and values. Keep in mind the importance of integrity, compassion, and righteousness in your spiritual journey. Stay. Close to people who uphold similar values and encourage your spiritual advancement, also be cautious of those who subtly undermine your beliefs or the authenticity of your spiritual path. These individuals might question your convictions or the validity of your spiritual practices in a way that seems like simple curiosity or intellectual discussion. However, their real intent is to shake your confidence and introduce doubts into your mind with the ultimate goal of steering you away from your journey to enlightenment. If you're still watching, consider subscribing to the channel.
empowering connections, it's essential to be alert to the subtle but damaging strategies that may try to sway us from our path. Ensure that you surround yourself with supportive people and settings that bolster your beliefs and fortify your resolve. Seek guidance from mentors, spiritual leaders, or groups that not only encourage but also support your spiritual growth. Real spiritual advancement is gained through positive questioning and a deeper understanding. Not by giving in to deceptive doubts, having a strong belief system, and staying true to what you value most are critical for shielding yourself from those who wish to disrupt your spiritual journey in relationships affected by negative forces. It's common to see a cycle where excessive praise is followed by harsh criticism. Initially, during the love-bombing phase, you might be showered with overwhelming affection and attention, accompanied by grand gestures of love. This flood of praise can be thrilling, lifting you high with joy. However, this often leads to a period of devaluation where the same person who adored you might start to chip away at your self-esteem and confidence. They could begin to belittle, criticize, or ignore your feelings, thoughts, and accomplishments. This sharp turnaround can be confusing and deeply painful, leaving you to wonder what you did wrong or why you're suddenly seen as less valuable. This recurring cycle can deeply affect your emotional health over time. Identifying these patterns early is key to avoiding emotional traps and preserving your self-worth. It's important to form real strong relationships that are built on mutual respect and understanding. Choose to engage in relationships that are supportive and aim towards mutual growth. Moreover, it's helpful to frequently check on the state of your relationships. Are they helping you grow spiritually and emotionally, or are they pulling you down? Developing a community of supportive, like-minded people not only brings comfort, but also acts as a shield against manipulative tactics. Participating in community activities, engaging with your group, and sharing your spiritual experiences with others who hold similar values can strengthen your spiritual base and enrich your supportive network. Your spiritual journey is uniquely yours. And it requires constant dedication and awareness to stay on course by understanding the dynamics within your relationships and keeping your spiritual objectives in focus. You can face challenges with strength and poise. Always aim to nurture relationships that are uplifting and empowering, ensuring your path is not only protected, but also rewarding and full of growth conclusion. Manipulative tactics in relationship often begin with an outpouring of love and adoration a method particularly favored by narcissists. This tactic termed love bombing makes the person on the receiving end feel extremely special and deeply loved, thereby gaining their complete trust. However, this phase doesn't last, and it soon gives way to harsh criticism and belittlement, which can leave the individual feeling emotionally broken and more dependent on their partner. It's vital to spot these destructive patterns early on and put strong personal boundaries in place to avoid emotional harm. Understanding and identifying these kinds of manipulative tactics can be the key to breaking free from unhealthy relationships and building ones that are truly supportive and founded on mutual respect and affectionate. It's also essential to look back at your own relationship history to see if these unhealthy behaviors were present. Reflecting on these experiences can foster personal development and better prepare you for future healthier relationships. Often people don't see these red flags early enough, but insights gained from past relationships are invaluable for the future. Moreover, by discussing these issues openly, we can increase awareness and educate others who may be struggling. Quietly sharing our knowledge and personal experiences allows more individuals to take steps towards healthier interpersonal dynamics by building a community that is knowledgeable and supportive. We empower each other to confront and overcome the difficulties created by manipulative relationships. Thanks for joining us today. If this topic resonated with you and you're keen to learn more, please consider subscribing. Your support is greatly appreciated and invite you to share any of your own stories or insights in the comments we look forward to continuing our dialogue. Stay safe and stay connected.